Good morning. Let's get into this, shall we? <sighs> All right, so the very first point of running, okay? And I left my hair, I'm leaving everything as is as I wake up. The very first point of running is not thinking about running, okay? This is how it works for me. I just need to disclose this entire video, how it's gonna work for me. Um, <clears throat> it's not necessarily gonna work for everyone, but I'm gonna give you some tips. But I'm gonna do it in a really fun way where I take you along as I do it. As you can see, I pretty much just woke up, didn't even brush my hair. Yes, why? Because the first step is getting dressed for running and doing so without thinking about it. That's a very important part. Not getting stuck in bed, not getting stuck on my phone, just getting up with the idea of going to go run, okay? So, I'm gonna brush my hair, I'm gonna put on some clothes, which by the way, as a side note, runner's clothes do help quite a bit. Uh, if you do have gym clothes or anything like that, if you have shoes you really like, go for them. Um, they help a lot, primarily to condition your brain into thinking, oh, when I wear these clothes, I'm running. So, ultimately, what you're trying to achieve by the end of all this it's just getting into your, your gym clothes, and that's it. And the rest will be your brain-based stuff that just takes control and automatically does things. But we'll get into some logistics afterwards. Um, or maybe before. Maybe maybe I put this after. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to edit it all. But what I will say is... Um, yeah, this, this is going to be fun. Okay, <laughs> let's go. officially up. We've got our running clothes. It's really nice. Listen, just as a side note, I'm gonna make my bed, but if you're you're demotivated for making your bed, like, just, just fucking don't. We need to reduce the amount of time we have between actually running and being in bed. So whatever you can do to close that window, because the bigger that window is, the longer you have to overthink, the longer you have to get distracted and not do the thing. Hell, if you want to run in your pajamas, just like your PJs, Go for that! Another thing I want to mention is just a quick little note on nutrition and something just to keep in mind as a basic runner, just a beginner runner. I run on a fasted stomach, meaning I don't eat before running, right? Now usually what that can result in, and do your own research please, this is what I researched, what that would result in is the burning of your natural body fat. When you eat, for instance, carbs or something beforehand, you will burn that carbs and turn that into muscle. Whereas when you fast, you will burn what you already have and turn that into great little pieces for your body. Though you need to be very careful because a lot of people don't have a good time, but a lot of people um, don't have a good time uh, exercising in any capacity, running, moving even, without having eaten. So just take care of your body, listen to your own body. And also take note that if you're really tiny um, and you do running in a specific way, you can actually end up accidentally burning muscle like, you need to substitute it for, for protein. And that's just about, you know, deciding exactly what you want from your running. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to put on some a little bit of muscle? Do you want to just be fit? It's just all going to come down to those little questions. Another thing I do while running, and I would recommend, is grabbing a pair, pair, pair of headphones. Grab some earphones and make sure you have, like, music that you love listening to, and that is different every time. A lot of people prefer, like, actually seeing new things as they are running. I prefer the sameness, actually, because the thing that is different, oftentimes, is the music playlist I'm listening to, as well as the weather. There's always some new feelings to be had as I'm moving in my body. Another thing I'd like to mention before I go for my run is I call it my one, two, three in the morning, right? So basically, one is running, two is showering, and three is eating. It sounds like a lot maybe to begin with, but when you get into it, it's actually super, super easy. Muscle treatment through rest, through shower, and through uh, nutrition and protein is really, really something that elevates the experience and makes it more encouraging and motivating to keep going rather so than just feeling like shit about it. Okay, so the mechanics of a habit is really something to consider. Uh, it's really important to know that a habit starts with a strong, like, why. It has, a, it has like, an essence to it that drives the initial habit, right? It drives like a week, a week and a half, about two weeks before the brain starts kicking in and stops fighting against you and starts working for you and just go deeper with it. And if you can, even attach that to a belief. I started running 
because I'm an actor and a performer, I'm a singer. We need big lung capacities. I needed a fit body to do that. So that was my reason. Acting and performing is at the core of my my being. Just to carry me through the first week, that motivation, that that initial motivation boost. Anyway, I've I've rambled for long enough now. Hopefully I've edited it down a little bit so that, you know, it gets a little easier to consume. But we are now going to run. Some people might be curious about how far to run, you know, where to run, what do you do? I run in my backyard, and also, I have no fucking clue how far I run. <laughs> Alright, it, it depends on how fast you run, it depends on how slow you, you jog. You can walk if you want to, for real. There's no rules, at least the way I'm doing it. Um, and so, I have no clue how fast, how far. I know that sometimes I like just running to the beat of the song. You can run in the gym, you can run outside, in the streets, you can run in your yard, you can run in your complex, wherever you live. Just be creative. my pulse which is a good little thing you don't have to do it every time but it's really fun to see all right gonna do it at 10 seconds wait where is it there that's my running to routine what I usually do now is I just kind of chill for like a few minutes on the grass if you have grass it's a good idea I just kind of, sometimes I lay down and I even meditate and go into hypnosis. So it's a really beautiful time to do that if you want to. So, this is basically the running portion. I don't know if I'll edit the rest, but from here I pretty much eat, or I shower and then I eat. I pop something into the air fryer, um, and I go to shower. Yeah, usually a protein, usually like a vegan meat or something, pop into the air fryer. Oh, also right before my shower I, I drink a protein shake which isn't really a protein shake, it's like protein powder, salt and water. Another little fun thing I'd recommend doing is when you do sit down, if you don't have grass, it's fine, but uh, sit down in the sun. Yeah, I know that sucks because you're sweating. You don't want to sit down in the sun. Sit down in the sun, trust me, it's really nice. It, uh, but you'll notice there's uh, quite a few things I do here. For instance, um, in the video you might have seen me counting down 3, 2, 1 for the last 3, 2, 1 laps. Um, I have a point, basically I run as long as I can, and then when I feel myself starting to get exhausted, I give myself like, okay, two more, or three more, and I stick to that, because you practice your commitment muscle and your self-integrity when you do that. But another thing you're also doing is, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's almost like the sun helps me regulate my body, and I don't really know if there's a link maybe to brown fat, because your body is working harder to regulates its temperature. So there's a lot of, and for instance, like afterwards resting and going into hypnosis, there's a lot of extra little habits you can attach to this that it actually improves. And the coolest thing about running that I've found is eventually your brain just takes over. When I would think about exercising, I'd need to, I'd like force myself to think all the way ahead. Um, like, you know, oh, am I gonna be able to do this for two months? Am I gonna be able to do this for a whole month? But the truth is like, you only really do it for like a week and a half, two weeks before your brain and your body starts doing it. Because then it really actually becomes an expected habit. And then eventually you get to like a month, you get to two months, eventually your body just does it. <laughs> and it feels unnatural not to do when you wake up. Love the, love my hair right now, it's just great. <laughs> I need to disclose one more time that everything I say and everything I've shown, everything I've suggested are just that, suggestions. Please, please, please don't take this as education, as actual freaking facts or whatever. I'm just showing my experience and maybe some of it resonates with you, but really toss out what doesn't feel right. Like do not just take all of what I'm saying at my word, okay? Go look up for yourself, go experiment and see what your body feels like. Those are cool little tidbits you can learn about your body and that you can really connect with yourself, you know? And there's your cat. Yeah, your papa. But anyway, the point being, don't just take all of this. If there are some things that you don't like that actually demotivate you from running in this video, just ignore that. Pretend you didn't see it. <laughs>
we're back. Now, I am starting to get real tired. <laughs> So I need to pick me up. I do make sure to eat a lot of uh, protein throughout the day instead of just bulk protein Just trying to get little snippets of protein throughout my day is really what's been helping me quite a bit One thing I just quickly wanted to go over before concluding the video um, Is the effects I've seen doing this all right? So what is this meant for me? What has it done for my body number one? Obviously, it's increased the leg strength quite a bit. It's increased my lung capacity. It's increased my uh, overall fitness. I've, I'm able to, like when I'm out with family or friends, I'm able to walk so much further without even slightly feeling it. Oh, of course, and my singing, oh my gosh, my, my ability to hold a note. I've changed sceneries. Obviously, you're able to hold a note way, 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 way longer. Um, it's incredible. And for me with singing, every note has a uh, the strength of the note and the, I guess, prettiness of the note for me has just been very determined by the breath I'm able to put behind the note, and that includes each individual note. Changing scenes again. Woo! So overall, great improvements, right? Um, and also, furthermore, some little things that I didn't realize was gonna happen, which is just abs. <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna develop abs, but I, you know, obviously you're losing body weight, and maybe there were abs there before, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. And I think it has something, I researched a little bit, I think it has something to do with when you get tired, it's primarily your back and your abs job to keep you upright, and so you are actually working some muscles aside from your legs, which are the, the obvious muscles you're working. Furthermore, I also noticed some changes within my arms, and I know I tried studying, I tried seeing why the fuck are my triceps getting bigger, why are my biceps more defined, don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I'm holding my phone while I'm running, and sometimes I, I, I could get really tense while running, and so maybe I'm like tensing these muscles while holding my phone as I'm running. I've actually been able to lift things a lot better, and I, again, not something I was expecting to experience. Um, yeah, being able to lift things, being able to lift heavier boxes, not something I was anticipating. Again, why? What? <laughs> I'm running, I'm not fucking doing the bicep curls and shit. And yet there was improvement and I'm just relaying that information and documenting it because um, I don't know why. <laughs> and furthermore, just the overall improvements in terms of like the little extra habits I've been able to establish around this habit. The fact that I'm showering every day, the fact that I'm eating every day. Oh, how long have I been doing this? Side note, um, give or take two months, two and a half about. And the other thing is remember, at least in my experience, I found that the more I thought about running, the more I thought about the actual act of running, the less I wanted to do it. Hey, me again, post Z, just to bring you another little message to say that it's a good idea to expect to suck if you're going to be expecting anything. Ideally, don't be expecting shit, but if you are going to be expecting something, it's a good idea to stay open to the idea that you might not be really good at this to begin with, and that's the same going for every single habit. It's almost like we need to, as soon as possible, accept that it's not going to look like we want it to look like. There's no right or wrong way to do this, and if you are going in with the mindset that there is, you might just end up bullying yourself more than you already have. It's just something I wanted to mention as well, that oftentimes we want our new hobbies to look a specific way, and it just, it won't. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, not goodbye. Enjoy my face. Bye. So those are some of the improvements I've seen. Like I said, being able to be in this little routine every day, and, you know, with some exceptions. Um, and you don't even have to do it every day. Just do what's comfortable. And you could do the same thing with dancing or swimming or anything. Like, take some of, like, try to extract the essence of everything I've said here and just put it into other things too, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Love you. Bye.